At breaking news just south of Norman, we know northbound I-35 is closed at Ladd Road due to a deadly crash. Yeah, the Highway Patrol tells us that this happened near Goldsby. We want to go to Jordan Daphnis. She's live on the scene right now with the details. Jordan? Yeah, Colby and Lacey, we just got new information from Trooper Foster with Oklahoma Highway Patrol. He says that this car right behind me rolled over this morning. They veered off the road. It's a single car accident. We know there were five passengers in that vehicle or five occupants in that vehicle, all um, teenagers around 18 years old, a high school travel team, a baseball team um, in this car. We know the driver of that car passed away in the accident. You can see they're beginning to pick up that car right now and they're going to tow it out of the way. This is causing a major backup here on I-35 near Goldsby. Hannah is going to give you information on alternate uh, routes that you can take this morning, but very, very tragic accident. The other four passengers are at the hospital right now, and we're going to learn more about their condition later this morning. We'll keep you updated, but for right now, a deadly accident here on I-35 near Goldsby. The driver of this vehicle passed away. Uh, we'll keep you updated. Live this morning, Jordan Daphnis, Oklahoma Zone, News 9. And this is right here on the map. This is where it happened at Ladd Road. It is very slow and I-35 northbound is closed for quite a bit after this accident. So it's closed all the way from Ladd Road up to State Highway 74. So to get around this, you're going to want to exit pretty far south of where this incident happened. You're gonna exit at State Highway 74 towards Purcell. You're gonna take northbound 77 all the way up past this accident. The next place where you could get on around the accident is going to be at Highway 9. And then you can then get on 35 all the way up back to the city if that's where you're headed. I'll have more updates back here in just about 10 minutes.